Hi, this is Mr. Davis, and now we're ready for chapter five, playing games. Now remember, everybody in this story has gotten to have their choice of what they want to do at the amusement park, because they don't have enough time to do everything. And now it's Mr. Kinder's choice, uh, choice, and he wanted to play games. And then I remember in the beginning of the story, like, why did he want to play games? And he wanted to win a prize for all his kids and his wife. So now, again, as a good reader, I'm going to use some of that background knowledge. I know this is Mr. Kinder's choice. He wants to win some uh, uh, stuffed animals and toys for the kids. We could see that in the picture. And we're going to ask ourselves, who's in the main characters? Or what are some kind of games they're playing? There's three or four different games. So kind of keep an eye on um, what games they're playing and how do they win at those certain games? And how do the uh, objects move when they play the game? Playing games, chapter five. The Kinder family walks to the games. There are lots of moving objects in the games. People are throwing balls and rings. Darts are popping balloons. Rubber ducks are floating in a duck pond. Now what should we do? Each kid can choose one game to play, says Mr. Kinder, and they're gonna need some money to play the game. You pick one game. A lot of things are moving. Oh, and this one, the moving thing is the rings. And it's going to have to land on the milk uh, bottles. I choose to play the ring toss game, says Gwen. You try to toss a ring onto one of the bottles. Then you win a prize. Gwen takes a ring. She tosses it. It moves very fast. The ring bounces off the bottle. Oh, so it's going to go very fast. And it you try to land it on. And it hit it and it bounced away. That's why I never picked a ring toss game. It's really hard to pick. Right. It's the next game. Good try. You tossed the ring too hard. The ring was moving too fast. Toss the ring so it moves slower. Toss it up a little. Then it will fall down on the bottle. Gwen tosses a ring. It goes up and comes down on the bottle. Gwen wins a prize. So this is what it's going. It's got to go a little slower. And you need to go up. And it landed right on the bottle. He's got to be very happy. Ooh, now it's for the milk toss. I choose to play spill the milk game, says Ben. You throw a ball at the milk bottles. You win if you knock them all over. Ben throws a ball slowly. It falls to the ground. The ball does not hit the milk bottles. So he, the speed of the ball was very slow and it didn't, didn't knock him over. Dad's going to say, good try, says Mr. Kinder. Gravity pulled the ball down before it hit the bottles. This time, throw the ball harder and it will move faster. Throw it in a straight at the center of the bottles. Ben throws another ball. It moves fast. The ball moves straight toward the bottles. It knocks them all over. Ben wins a prize. So this time he, he threw it straight and he threw it fast and he knocked it over. Gwen had to go slow and throw it up in the air. So there was kind of a difference there. Ooh, now it's the duck game. I choose to play the duck pond game, says Jen. That's a good choice, says Mr. Kinder. You use a fishing pole with a magnet at the end. Rubber ducks will slowly float by. They have metal hooks on the top. Move the magnet near the hook to catch the rubber duck. So how do the rubber ducks move? Very slowly. And what's going to help you win? The magnet that's on the, the fishing pole. So there's a little magnet at the top. You're going to try to catch it on the hook. And that's how you're going to win the game. And the ducks are going slowly. Forces from the magnet pull on the metal hook. The hook and the rubber duck move towards the magnet. The hook sticks to the magnet and the rubber duck is caught, says Mr. Kinder. Mr. Er, Jen holds the fishing pole magnet near a rubber duck. It sticks to the magnet. Jen wins a prize. So Mr. Kinder's got to be happy. All of his kids have won a prize so far. We saw objects move while we were playing the games. We saw rings, balls, and ducks move. They moved in different ways, said Ben. That is right, says Mr. Kinder. Playing the games was fun. Now let's look at a map. Next, we are going to the gift shop. Ooh, get to go to the gift shop. We're going to need some money. Bye.